My name is Mike Ragsdale. I'm uh, originally from Cleveland, Tennessee. I've lived in Knoxville since 1971. I'm the former Knox County Mayor and now I'm the president of Tennessee Strategies, a statewide consulting firm. You know, it's interesting. It's been a long time since I was 17 years old, but I can recall very vividly some of the reasons I wanted to go to college. And that started with my mom and my dad and my family. No one in my family had ever been to college before. My dad had graduated from high school. My mom had to leave high school after the ninth grade to go to work and help support her family. But even though neither of them had an opportunity to go to college, they were very adamant that I should go. So while they couldn't tell me what college was about or help me with the experiences of getting in or many things like that, they were incredibly supportive and encouraging. And that was a big motivation factor for me to go and attend college. You know, um, I had quite a bit of motivation in addition to my parents wanting me to go in that uh, my job was washing cars at Benton, Pontiac and Buick in Cleveland. And while I was delighted to have that job at, uh, as a teenager, uh, I, I have to tell you, it got awfully hot doing it in the summer. It got awfully cold doing it in the winter. And I thought there's gotta be a better way to make a living in life and have better job opportunities. So I was motivated to want to go to college and to do that. There were lots of challenges along the way. How do you apply? Where are you going to live when you get there? What's your major going to be? But I felt like if I could just get in, get involved and have a chance that I could make it work. So I didn't have a great fallback position. You know, going back to the car dealership to watch the vehicles, uh, while it was a fun job to have in high school, it wasn't something I wanted to do for the rest of my life. So um, I was highly motivated to try and do the best I could. Without a doubt, going to college was one of uh, life's most defining experiences for me. It has given me an opportunity to achieve some goals that I could have never done without it. I've had an opportunity to work at community college, to work in private business, to serve as the county's mayor of the third largest county in the state. And I truly don't think that any of those opportunities would have been available to me if I had not gone to college. So I am very grateful for my experiences at the University of Tennessee. The, the higher education experience is not just what you learn in the classroom. I think the experience uh, to a very large degree is classroom combined with what you learn from other people. You meet folks from all walks of life. Some have uh, incredible economic backgrounds and benefits through their families. Others were more folks like me uh, who came from very humble backgrounds, but you learn to interact with them, to blend with them. And to socially interact is so important in today's world. And I can't tell you how many times that I have leaned on folks that I got to know during the college experience that have helped me in my business career and in my political career. So it is absolutely critical to not just go to class, that's obviously really important, but also to take advantage of the full experience. I enjoyed being in a fraternity. I enjoyed meeting all those folks along the way. And to this day, many, many years later, some of those folks I met in college remain my closest, best, and most loyal friends. I think it's really important that you get a degree, sometimes even more so than what you do with it. And here's what I mean by that. I was an education major at the University of Tennessee, and my first job was at Pellissippi State Community College. But after that, I went into private business, I served eight years as a county commissioner, eight years as our county's mayor, and now I'm back in private business. I'm not sure that path would have been available to me if I didn't have a college degree. And I think it's more important that you have the degree sometimes than where um, or what major you might have along the way. So I know a lot of people that majored in political science. They don't really have anything to do in that arena anymore. A lot of folks uh, have majored in business and now they're in some other field. But just getting that degree, obtaining the experience, says a lot to potential employers, and I think it opens a large number of doors for young folks going forward. Well, I think the expectations for the family sort of improve with, uh, with one's educational 
aspirations and benefits. I know my son is a graduate of the University of Tennessee, lives in New York City now, and I uh, have a daughter next year who will be a freshman uh, at UT and another daughter who's in high school. I think they have benefited from me going to college, and I think that set a standard for maybe them wanting to go too. Don't get me wrong, I think there can be great careers, not just in a, a four-year school like UT. An opportunity like a TCAT, our, our College of Applied Technology, or trade schools can be equally beneficial. But just to stop after high school, I think it's going to be very challenging for people in this era. So what I would encourage young people to do, look at the community colleges, look at the four-year institutions, look at our College of Applied Technology, or even skilled labor opportunities. Each and every one of those can be a great opportunity, but if you don't have something along those lines, I think oftentimes life's gonna be a struggle. Sure, I think each and every one of us like to make money. I, don't, I haven't met anybody yet that said, hey, I wanna make less money. So certainly financial rewards and benefits of going on and getting a degree or certificate after high school are incredibly important from that perspective. However, there's another side to it as well. It is what opportunities are gonna be available to you. And it is really, really difficult in this environment that we live today to not have any additional skills beyond high school. And if you have a certificate or a degree, I think your opportunities are gonna be better. And I think the people you meet along the way will help define you as well. You're gonna be friends, you're gonna be teachers, you're gonna be professors. Each and every one of them will have an impact upon your life in some ways, sometimes big, sometimes small, and you're going to impact their lives as well. So it is that collective experience of going forward together in the educational process that I think makes this country special and makes our Tennessee Promise and Tennessee Chiefs programs really special as well. You know, sometimes when you graduate from high school, you don't see a sense of urgency to do anything. Uh, I would encourage you to develop a sense of urgency if you could. Going forward, think about what you're going to want to be doing when your class reunion happens 10 years from now. You still want to be in school? Do you want to be wandering in a career that's really not what you had hoped for? Or do you want to be able to achieve something that's going to provide financial security to you and your family? Do you want to achieve something that is rewarding in a line of work that you really enjoy and you're making a contribution? And the friends that you meet along the way who will become some of your closest best friends in life might not have that opportunity if you don't go ahead and get an education. So I can't tell you how strongly I believe that's critically, critically important. So for those of you in the class of 2021, you've been through some challenges that none of us have been through before. Virtual learning, being without your classmates from time to time, not being in front of your teachers every day. So while it's been tough, it's almost time to put that chapter behind us the best we can and go on and get that education and look forward to the future. You know, I, I don't set your goals too low. Set your goals very high. And it would have been easy for many of us who uh, were growing up in the early 70s as teenagers to have not had big dreams. But I would encourage you to dream really big. Try your very best to do something that makes you happy, that gives you an opportunity to support financially your family, and to build some friendships, lasting friendships along the way. And if each and every one of us can make a contribution like that, I think we'll see our state and our region be a much better place. That's really what it's all about in the end.